So we got home from town and come on, you can't have that apple core. Come here, silly goose. So this is Yeti and he's never really been on a collar. Uh, he's never been on a leash before. Good boy. So the whole point of just like with a horse, we're not trying to get them to buck. We're trying to get them to come with us willingly. Come here, buddy. Yeti, a good boy, yay, come here, Yeti, good boy. Okay, so he walked for a little ways. We're that far from the house, and he thought that was okay, but now it's a little far from the Good boy, Yeti, good boy, come on. Now it's a little far from the house. Good boy, come on. So Legacy today in town didn't want to go in the feed store. Come on. I took my um, phone holder thingy thingy with me to that last dog show and I haven't located it since. So much to see and smell out here. This is where the foxes cross the road. I haven't seen our little family of foxes. Yay, come on beautiful. He was 47 pounds. I think he is a couple of pounds heavy, maybe. Mm. So if we can make it down here to Reagan's mailbox, then we've had a good walk. We have had incredibly unseasonably cool weather for July. It's usually scorching miserable. It's been just incredible. Getting in the 60s at night, high 60s, but still. One time in July, I was in Fort Worth. I think it was July. Anyway, yeah, it was July. At midnight, it was 97 degrees. I had no idea it didn't cool down down there. I'm like, you people are crazy. Why would you live down here? That's what I thought. Come on. So, teaching them, to, he's giving me some resistance. Teaching them to walk on a leash is... Come on. Probably easier done if you weren't holding a camera. So he wants to walk himself. That's just resistance. But, yay! Come here, puppy. Legacy has class tomorrow night. Tim was so sweet. He fed my puppies today. So we could go to the vet. So I took said dead puppy in. Talked to Dr. Doug and Dr. Ron both. And they said since he had been frozen, they were not able to see if it was a brain injury, which I can't fathom that it was a brain injury, but I'm not saying that, you know, that's 100% impossible. Come on, honey. No, you can't have that piece of wood. No, we're not, this is not the trip to pick up toys. Come on, come on. Good boy, come on, good boy. Come on, Yeti. Good boy. So, but they're gonna send a bunch of stuff off to talk, uh, toxicology to, at least for me. And this is what I told Doc. I said, it's not like somebody came to my property and poisoned this dog. That's not what happened, but it, there is no way that this dog got into poison because there's nowhere he could. So unless someone did something, accidentally did something, then that gave him access to poison. Anyway, something happened and I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. Come on, no, no, no. Okay, good boy. So here we're getting further from home and he is just a puppy. Giving me some resistance. We're gonna walk all the way down to the mailboxes, which is a good little walk. Oops, here comes a car. So we're gonna practice getting on the side of the road. No, 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 you must mind me now. Here comes a car, good boy. Good boy, we must stand still while the car goes by. I know I'm out here, don't even have tennis shoes on. I'm gonna hold on to Oh. Well, that was scary. Sort of scary. 
So you really need to teach them to stay away from the cars. Come on. I mean, you don't want them so scared they run from the cars and get away from you and get ran over, but sometimes if my dogs feel a bit intimidated by a car, they'll actually be aggressive toward them because sometimes that's how Bull Mastiff deals with their fear. They get aggressive. Come on, baby. You know, he's got that boo-boo on his shoulder, so I took him in today. Come on. We're almost there. Yeah. Are you going to be like a horse when it's time to turn around and go home? You're going to run? So, on a walk, there are two types of walks. There's a walk that you allow them to smell the smells and have a big time and pick up stuff and play. And then there's when I'm taking somebody with me because I want to run. I expect them, you know, an older dog to keep up with me when I'm running. And it's not very many dogs that can run with you because if they don't get in sync with you, then they will trip you and you don't want to fall. Holly Berry was a really good runner. She would run with me. That was Juby's mom. I've never tried running with Juby. I should try that. Huh. Okay. You're going to... We are there is the mailboxes. Good. So I'm just going to <laughs> You've got yourself all tangled up. I know this is quite a walk. Maybe we should have turned around. You're gonna be pooped. That probably was a little bit far. Let's just turn around. There's our mailboxes. We'll just turn around. Come on. Good boy. I'm gonna clip this video and again, I'm not trying to keep him on my left. He's doing wonderful. I mean, some of them, when you first put the collar on, they it's just like pulling in a big bass. They'll fight, 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 fight. And he just really didn't do that. You need to poop. You gonna make a poop for me? Good boy. Can you find, can you poop on a leash? That would be marvelous. Go make a poop. He peed for me today on a leash. This little poop. It's a little cardio. Need to poop. Oh, I thought he needed to poop. He did just need to pee. I'm not gonna poop on a leash. No, oh, it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing you gotta learn to do. So again, <laughs> well, I could be better at this is Marcia. It's pronounced Marcia, but it's spelled M-A-R-C-I-A. -A. My neurolog neurologist. Uh, naturopath, sorry. I don't have a neurologist. Said to me the other day, you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. So, and that is a good thing, you know, to think about when you're training your puppy. You're not, you don't want to be harsh and you don't want to be, you don't want to make this not fun for them. You don't want to be hard and harsh with them. But you do want to have some focus and keep moving forward and lots of treats. Again, this is just like when I'm training a young horse. I don't want them to buck. I want to teach them to be confident and settle and, and never buck. They don't ever have to buck. They don't ever have to bite you. <laughs> You're silly. All right, that's Yeti. We're clipping this.